Continues Build When setting up a continuous build process for a site reliability engineering SRE, team, it's crucial to establish a streamlined and automated workflow that enables efficient and reliable software builds. Here are the key steps and examples of how an SRE team can approach the setup of continuous build. Select a build automation tool. Choose a build automation tool that suits your organization's needs. Popular options include Jenkins Circle CI, Travis C, and GitLab CI CD. Consider factors like ease of use, integration with version control systems, scalability, and community support. Define build pipeline stages. Identify the stages of your build pipeline, typically including steps like code compilation, unit testing, static code analysis, packaging, and artifact generation. Define the order and dependencies of these stages to ensure a smooth flow from code changes to the final build artifact. Version control and branching strategy. Implement a version control system, such as Git, and establish a branching strategy that supports concurrent development and code isolation. For, for example, the team may adopt a feature branch workflow in which each feature is developed in a separate branch and merged into a main branch upon completion. Automated testing. Integrate automated testing into the build pipeline to ensure the quality and stability of the code base. Include unit tests, integration tests, and other relevant testing frameworks or tools. Consider implementing code coverage analysis to measure test coverage. Static code analysis. Incorporate static code analysis tools, such as SonarCube or ESLint, into the build pipeline. These tools automatically analyze the code base for code quality issues, adherence to coding standards, and potential vulnerabilities. This helps identify and address potential problems early in the development process. Build triggers. Configure triggers that initiate the build process automatically during code changes. This can be achieved through webhook integration with version control systems or periodic repository polling. Build triggers ensure that builds are triggered promptly and reduce manual intervention. Build notifications. Set up notifications to inform the development team about the build status and any failures. This can be achieved through email notifications, chat integrations, e.g. Slack, or dedicated build monitoring tools. Notifications help quickly identify and address build issues. Artifact generation and management. Define the process for generating build artifacts, such as executable binaries, Docker images, or deployment packages. Store these artifacts in a centralized artifact repository or container registry, such as Nexus or Docker Hub. Proper artifact management ensures version control and easy access for deployment. Continuous integration and deployment. Integrate the build pipeline with a continuous integration and deployment system. This enables automated deployment of the build artifacts to various environments, such as staging or production. Use configuration management tools like Ansible, Chef, or Kubernetes for automatic deployment. Monitoring and logging. Implement monitoring and logging mechanisms in the build pipeline to capture metrics and track build performance. Monitor build duration, success rate, and resource utilization aggregate logs for troubleshooting and identifying bottlenecks or failures in the build process. Example. An SRE team setting up continuous build for a web application might use Jenkins as the build automation tool. They define stages in the pipeline, such as compiling code, running unit tests, and packaging the application. They integrate tools like Junit for testing and SonarCube for static code analysis. The team configures webhooks to trigger builds whenever changes are pushed to the main branch in the Git repository. Notifications are set up through Slack, ensuring the development team receives immediate updates on the build status. The artifacts generated from the build, such as WAR files or Docker images, are stored in a Nexus repository. 
The team uses Ansible for automated deployment to staging and production environments, while monitoring tools like Prometheus and Elk Stack to track build performance and provide visibility into build logs. Example By following these steps and incorporating appropriate tools and practices, an SRE team can establish a continuous build process that automates code compilation, testing, and artifact generation. This ensures consistent quality, faster feedback loops, and reliable software builds for efficient software delivery.